Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. This is why we, as a culture, as black people, this is why we can never be taken serious in society. We have people like her, hood rat smut type chicks who want to go up in places like Walmart, Target, and any other retail store, act a fool, do a bunch of nonsense type stuff that doesn't need to be done out in public. There's dressing, there's a thing called a dressing room for a reason. I don't understand why some of these women can't just go in a dressing room if they want to do a clothing haul in a store. You doing a clothing haul in a store is very ratchet, distasteful, and you're disrespecting yourself. And I've said this time after time. A lot of black women will come into my comment section and talk about how I'm disrespecting black women when black women go on YouTube day in and day out and disrespect themselves. All I do is come on YouTube and commentate about it. I talk about it. I talk about what they shouldn't be doing and how it's very distasteful. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get right into the damn video. You guys, I will mean I'm going to do another trial haul because y'all already said we can't be doing all that ghetto stuff up at Target. So guess what we got? Walmart. <laughs> oh, and by the way, fellas, any lady that has a blonde wig on, do not take her seriously. Don't take her serious at all. I'm keeping it a whole buck with you. Any lady that has on a blonde wig, and wants to talk about cultural appropriation, don't take her serious at all. Automatically dismiss her. Somebody said that I'm still gonna be talking out of this. I'm not this big. We're just gonna, you feel me? Not that big, but we're gonna pick it up. So I want to stop that in case some of you out there didn't hear her. She stated that she wants to go find a spot to try on the clothes that she just picked up. This is where it's about to become real distasteful and ratchet. This is something that women shouldn't be doing when there's dressing rooms available for you to go in. There's people that are walking around Walmart with their children, with elderly people who don't want to see you getting dressed in the middle of the aisles. <laughs> so this is the spot I'm choosing. This is the finest aisle. See, we got the mirrors, we got the clocks, we got all of that. Y'all, I promise y'all, I'm nervous. I got my feet done today, but I'm a little ashy, ain't lotion up. Oh yeah, and this one go out to Flacco. 
Period. You already told me that if I delete that music video 16 shot I'm dead for me that you was gonna give me money because you was talking shit because you said it looked like he recorded on a potato. Period. I need my video from No More Heroes now. Before some of the black women come in my comment section and woofing, because a lot of y'all like to come in my comment section and start woofing. And this doesn't apply to all the black women out there, but to the black women that it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt. But since you always like to come into the, or come onto the MABW into the comment section talking about, I'm always disrespecting black women. Black women, is this something that black women should be doing in Walmart? I'll wait. Should our kinfolk, our black sisters, go inside Walmart and start getting undressed in Walmart to do a clothing haul, a try-on haul? Is this something that black women should be doing? And is this very distasteful? Before you go in, before you go in the comment section and say she doesn't represent all black women, is this distasteful for a black young lady to do in Walmart or any other retail store? In general, if you have a clothing, you, you, there's, there's there's a reason for dressing rooms. She could easily go into a dressing room and do this. I'm pretty sure she could get the same amount of views. Guys will still look, trust me. But she has to do clown. This clown behavior should not be accepted at all. And people need to go on channels like hers and tell her about herself. It's not cute. It's not funny. This shit bogus. <laughs> this shit bogus. Come on, follow me. Okay. This is my travel bag. I got my travel bag. Can't y'all just see me in the airport with this? Oh shit. Period. This You know what the funny thing is? Once Walmart or Target or anywhere she does these try on hauls, these clothing hauls, once they catch on to this and kick her out or ban her out of Walmart or Target or any of those retail stores for good, she'll be crying. She'll be crying. For the most part, a lot of people go to Walmart on, all the time. Some people need to go to Walmart. Some people need to go to Target. Once she gets banned, she'll be crying about racism. 
She'll be crying about how she's being targeted. She'll have some type of story to make up for the foolishness that she's doing. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll wait. Because we all know that's where it's going to go to. She's going to end up co uh, uh, complaining about getting kicked out or banned. Even though she's the one committing disgusting acts inside Walmart. When she can go to a dressing room and do the same thing that she's doing right now. And still garner an audience, believe it or not. Okay. On to this. Because somebody thinks I'm an extra, extra large. Because they think <laughs> it's an extra, extra large. And it's not. I'm not that big, y'all. I promise you. I promise. They said they were still gonna be hanging out. Y'all just let me know. Y'all think I'm fat? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for thinking I'm fat. I don't think anybody thinks you're fat, but I do think a lot of people think you're very ghetto and you're displaying ghetto behavior and you have a ghetto mentality. And what you're giving out to your, I don't under, cause she has about 5,000 subscribers. She has a little over 5,000 subscribers. I don't understand why anybody would tune in to watch her do this kind of ratchet behavior in Walmart. I just, I really don't. I know there's an audience for everything. And I, and I know people do crazy things online and they could garner attention, but in general, black people need to stop making a fool of themselves to get subscribers. I've never in my life since I've been on YouTube. I've been on I've been on YouTube as a creator since 2021. August of 2021. I'm going on my third year. If you go through my catalog of videos, I've never had to do anything stupid to garner an audience. All I've had to do is talk about what I talk about, and that's it. I've never had to come out here and put on a wig, paint my nails, do some ratchet, crazy crap inside of a supermarket. I never had to prank anybody with some food. I never had to do nothing stupid at all. The people that have been rocking with me since 2021, you know I've never had to come out here and sacrifice my integrity. I've been the same old MABW I've been the whole time. I've never tried to floss on my audience, never tried to act like I'm better than them. And I want to say something too to my audience before I get done with this video. To my audience out there, all these YouTubers that you feel are trying to kick motivational speeches to you by showing off their Rolex, showing off their car, telling you how much money they they have. They're not motivational. That's that's not motivation. Them showing off their wealth to you is not motivation. I just want to make that clear. That's just a random. Now let's get back into this damn video. Okay. This small t-shirt ain't that bad. You feel me? I'm a three, y'all. So believe it or not, I'm actually getting kind of better at this. You feel me? Um, I still ain't get kicked out yet. I ain't get kicked out of Target. I ain't get kicked out of Walmart. What store do you guys want me to go to next? Do you think Flocka really gonna send me my money because 16 shot him, shot my video with a potato? Like, let me know what y'all think. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And if you want me to come to your Let's stop the damn video right there. Y'all can like, comment, subscribe if y'all want to. But this is what I want to say. Her video in Target was 10 times worse, in, in my opinion. I didn't end up, I ended up not putting that video out because it had copyright material in it from the music that was playing in the background of Target. So I ended up taking it down. This one was to me was way more PG compared to Target. And she was acting real ratchet in Target. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. To the to the black sisters out there, is this how some black women should be representing themselves? Is this how young black ladies should be representing themselves? Y'all let me know in the comment section before you start coming in the comment section talking about your boy MABW doesn't like black women. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.